and then I found out you're Jewish, and I'm like, oh fuck yeah. But <laughs> technically, <laughs> as I as I often mention, um, I'm a lox and bagel Jew, so there's wait, not. Wait, wait, what did you just say? Hold on a second. What does that mean? Maybe somebody in the chat. All seventy of you that are there. As I, as I often mention, um, I'm a lox and bagel Jew. So <laughs> what is there's that? not a lot of dogma and an awful lot of. I'm basically a Larry David character come to life as in my family, <laughs> where no one really even identifies as the idea of being Jewish, but being neurotic. It's yeah. like the tie that binds us. Yeah. But when I really started getting into the idea of being more spiritual, that is exactly where I gravitated towards. Because because so to me what i'm hearing is you know in my opinion this is just like some sort of i just i don't know cloaking ability or something it's like it's it's the ability to sh to sort of flip flop from one thing to another it's it's the ability to do this you know this like this thing you know fellow fellow whites that whole thing that whole shebang but then sort of be able to retreat and be like, no, I'm a, oy vey, oy, oy, I'm a bagel poison. <laughs> don't look at me. It felt like, I don't know, prove me wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, even though if you look at us, it's not. Um, and also if you look at me, hi, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm tattooed. I don't speak Hebrew. I was never bought mitzvahed. Satanic. Um, there's a lot about me that is very not part of the diaspora. But then there's also a part of me that is very connected to this idea. I really like the idea of it's more important what we do on this earth yeah. than it is to get into this like idealistic afterlife mm -hmm. that seems to be a really big part of Christianity. Yeah. And the only big part, and I'm not trying to talk shit about like. Sure. I think it's so it is about deconstructing the old waspy sort of white, you know, the old guard Western white guy society. That's really what it, she's telling you to your face right now. <laughs> That's what being a bagel person, bagel locks person means to this person. I, I, in my opinion, uh, you're being told straight to your face <laughs> what the intentions are. Christianity or any other religion. It's just more what I felt drawn to. As, For sure. Um, yeah. As you know, the uh, woo woo tattooed witchy Jew yeah. that I am, right. uh, and <laughs> I mean, for the most part, like a lot of Jewish people, I'm also kind of atheist. There's yeah. more of this idea. The up talk urbanite hipster tattooed. Gosh. Yeah, and it goes back to community. I was telling you about that. Atheist, satanic. But earlier, like, I like the idea of being around people who are like-minded and working towards a greater good yeah and i see that do you believe in the greater good or is it just going to be like this up talk see when i when i talk about the greater good i i speak directly you know the greater good i believe in the greater good in my in my opinion the greater good is way the fuck different from what she would probably or z would probably believe in i don't think that allowing you know this uh, this like leftist lgbtq sort of ideology for instance be brought around kids i don't think it's a very good idea but i would imagine i don't know if they're going to get into that necessarily because this might have been a year or so before or maybe like a month or so before that came to the let's see this is november 2nd night but that sort of stuff or like the blm stuff you know, i don't think that goes for the greater good i think that goes for the disintegration of society that a lot especially so. within like anti-Zionist Jewish movements or like being Ooh. like pro-Palestine or Ooh, JVP. Yes. Yeah. I, I have a if lot. Not now. Oh. Yeah. I have a lot of feelings about that, but also I'm not super versed. I kind of keep a lot of my spiritual self to myself, but also my nickname is Bubby. Yeah, <laughs> so, nice. cause I'm like the old person in the neighborhood now. Yeah. And most of my friends are younger than me. So I'm your Bubby. If you need anything, I'm punk rock Bubby. Bubby. I will I will I, I will like answer that. questions about you know how to make a really good vegan curry or fabulous how, vegan or curry. Vegan curry. Nice. Or how to like, you know, get like a crappy like bite punk out of like your hair. I don't yeah, know. Nice. And so 
basically these these are just like you see how they talk like bougie coastal elites, but we're talking about like a major midwestern city. Like, what is the deal with that? How did that happen exactly? Any ideas in, in the comments or chat would be appreciated. I love crappy play pongs. I, yeah, I've dated them for a while. So. Right there, you go. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I I, uh, I sympathize with your identification with Judaism because I'm also like my parents are like my mom is Jewish, mm -hmm. my dad's not, but I was raised very minimally mm -hmm. like surface level Judaism. Like, I mean, we celebrated like Hanukkah, the Seder, like the holidays, and like. I went to a Jewish preschool, but it was very, very secular. Um, mm -hmm. I'm very, very secular humanist, very yeah. agnostic. I believe that they usually are. That, like the dogmatic principles of any religion, mm -hmm. just you know, just never. It was never imposed on me, mm -hmm. and I also just never felt like it would bring me any closer to like a spirituality. Yep. It's just a matter of what goodness you bring, not only to. Um, the rest of the world, but also to yourself, yourself. Yep. Um, which we lose sight of. Um, so what I'm hearing is that they are, in my opinion, people like this are completely, generally speaking, are completely insulated uh, from the backlash or the negative consequences of any of the policies or norms or mores or ideas that they push like they these kind of people i think almost always have some sort of you know s suburban or rural place that they can go retreat to um and they don't really care about the people left behind in the cities to deal with like skyrocketing crime for instance since the george floyd fucking bullshit i believe in milwaukee shootings skyrocketed by like hundreds of percent you know, so it's like, I mean, this is obviously dated a little bit before, but by this time we were still dealing with fucking like weekly Antifa and BLM terrorism and that sort of thing. And, you know, we were already dealing with all, a lot of this BS anyway. A lot of the riots and arson. Mm -hmm. I, I don't quite, know. Uh, quite instantaneously. So in that sense, like I believe in the principles, with, I, I align with the Jewish principles of, you know, like... Of community, of also questioning. Things, yes, you know, and as Jews, like, as, like, um, you know, that's some they don't question the right things. Something that I don't think kind of like a benefit of what are they questioning? The Jewish question faith is that we're encouraged to ask questions. I don't. I'm not hearing the questions, man. I'm not hearing the valid questions. I'm hearing like assertions being made about you know, whiteness and maleness and Americanism that are kind of ill-founded, you know, but we'll get into this. I feel like we're one of the only monotheistic, um... There we go. ...religions that really embraces that. Yeah. I feel like it can also be found in um, Islam, especially because it really is a scholarly religion. <laughs> Here I am about to talk shit about Christianity. I swear I don't care. But also, I just feel like, especially with everything that's going on with... The did she just imply that Islam is a more, like, scholarly and chill or, like, civilized religion than Christianity? Did she just do that? But then say, oh, don't look at me. I don't care if you're a Christian. Brilliant. <laughs> That's, she's, she's, you know, very, uh, very slippery. This, like, full idea of being a good Christian, especially with who's in office and, like, all the things that like He's politicians do in the name of like this weird Christian God mm -hmm. to take away rights from people. Right. Is she going to get into the rights that Christians are taking away? I think I've asked this a few times. Like, are they going to name any of the things that they're talking about? Or are they just, this is what they're, you notice they just sort of like vaguely allude to it. And he goes, yeah, that's right. He does this little nodding gesture of approval but they don't actually elaborate very heavily on it you know it's even when they talk amongst themselves they don't get into it because they probably do you think they know that their ideology is completely substanceless because they'll give you the oh you need to go research it for yourself response when you ask them like what do you mean because of a thing that really is very esoteric yeah y'all mm -hmm. don't know <laughs> right yeah and and the thing is it's like you know that and people can Whoa. do that like be fundamentalists in any religion like, oh they uh, certainly can especially in judaism as when we talk about 
a lot of Zionists. Yeah. Like, uh, and like, we don't even have to get into that. I, pro- I, I, we have to get into, but we have to get into like bashing the Christian dude, like the Christian boomer with the trucker hat on who doesn't want crime in his major city to skyrocket by 200%. Um, that's the bad guy, that old guard white guy who is just concerned with things like law and order. He doesn't like, you know, he doesn't like seeing order being disrupted. Um, look at these stiltskin like creatures here. They find it funny. It's, it's, it's Friday night. <laughs> they love disorder and asymmetry. It is Friday night. I can't do it. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long week. But there's, yeah, there's, there's fundamentalism that I, be- I firmly believe is just people that are misguided, mm-hmm. misinterpretive, that believe that you know, they have some kind of, um, that their belief set is, you know, superior to another's and that, you know, they feel inclined to impose that as, as a sense of power. Like taking over Seattle and Portland and like, inst- you know, instituting things like Chaz and shop and all that stuff. Like, what are we on number three or four? What are we on month? Like nine, 10, <coughs> These bastards, like junkies, you know, these bankster funded commie junkies going around and uh, imposing their will of violence on all these major cities. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And again, yeah, I know this video is a little bit older, but this was already going on in one capacity or another for years at this point already. Uh, so, it really is. Uh, it's a, it's powers, disgusting. Yeah, but power is a really good way to, to like, I mean, yeah, that that kind of flabbergasted me like that makes sense and i thought about it but i've never put into words like that it really is it's all about power structure it's just like anything else that is like Uh, i wonder who controls the power structure really counterproductive to society just like capitalism (laughs) capitalism like you notice how they flip they, they skim over the Zionist thing and they go back to the Christian, like, oh, the Christians, the Christians are oppressing everybody. Like, uh, you know, it's like, well, I don't know, man. It's all power. You know, the more, the more Might be another tribe. we're divided under, the easier it is to control us. And uh, the, and that's also why we live under such a label culture where, mm-hmm. we're, where we like to label everything and everyone. Well, yeah, we have. Fascist, racist, Nazi, bigot, phobe, you know, okay, you label everybody everything, white supremacist, white, whatever. But yeah, I mean, in, in a sense, we have been seeing capitalism kind of crushing people and like separating, like, of course, like, these people in this video don't know what's coming yet with the COVID shutdowns and the mask mandates and shit. Uh, in my opinion, that was just a means to fucking demoralize people, get them all riled up, and then, re- you know, release a bunch of prisoners because of the COVID, whatever the fuck, and then drum up some riots months before an election. Um, so the, the small businesses that weren't destroyed completely by the shutdowns and the mask mandates, Antifa and BLM can just go in there and fucking finish them off. Um, that's what we're seeing from ma capitalists do you think that they even fucking realize that did they did they did they realize that jeff bezos loves their ideology and funds it you know does he did they do they know yet that netflix and bank of america and google like do they know this Maybe. or i mean because that's how we just keep the how, how do you have this like anti-corporate bent when you have these bougie first world kind of urbanite hipster coastal elite beliefs i just don't get we 